Hey guys, welcome back. So, we are planning a motor build in the future. So we've been collecting parts for actually probably going on a year now. So we got oil pump gears. Uh, it's just a gasket. This is a radium fuel rail. I've got the, I have like a modified fuel rail on the car that has a 6AN hooked up, but it's kind of ghetto. So we got a nice radium. ARP main studs, some Wiseco pistons. Actually, these look pretty sweet. Let me let me show you these sweet pistons. There we go. These are Wiseco ten and a half to one pistons, pop ups. Uh, my current motor has the FM Wisecos, which are Probably stronger, who knows, but these are like half the price. So we're gonna see what these give us. Um, so yep, yeah, got a set of those. We got King, well, whatever they are, triple layer fancy smancy bearings. I've ran ACLs in the past and had bad luck, but plenty of people have good luck, so who knows what happened. Uh, current motor, when the ACLs failed, I just put Mazda bearings in it, and it's been fine. But we got some King. These are the extra clearance version for the rods and the mains, and the Mazda thrust gasket, or, oh, sorry, thrust washer, bearing, whatever. Got one of those. Don't even know what's in... I think that's exhaust studs in that box. We got some rods. These are from Max Peating. So these are actually not going in my motor. Uh, I was... I need to do a review on these. These are okay rods. It's not what I want in my motor, but I'm going to be pushing really hard. And I don't even know that these would fail. They're fairly beefy. They got big bolts. The beams are pretty beefy. They're actually a beefier beam than the Carillos, funny enough. Although I suspect the Carillos are maybe a stronger material and likely a higher quality. Or I know they're higher quality, but, uh, these aren't bad. I'm probably going to sell these because I doubt I'm going to use them. Uh, don't even remember what's in that box. Probably nothing. I don't know. Yeah, it's empty. What else? Uh, that's the ARP studs. These are our turbo gaskets. I bought these are like MLS multi layer steel turbo gaskets because I don't like leaks. I already got one installed. Those are just spares. This is the old uh, VVT oil pump. So I'm going to put the gears in that. Maybe poured it. I don't really know what we can do. We're going to find out. And here's a head gasket. So gentleman on the forum by the name of Nuaza recommended this. Real cool guy. I didn't even know this existed. Sorry, that's upside down. But I'll tell you what. There. Now we're not upside down. So this head gasket he was telling me about, it's actually kind of looks like a cheap head gasket. It's got that whatever that stuff is, that composite looking stuff. It's not an MLS gasket, but it's got these steel, stainless steel rings that cut into the block and head, or at least cut into the cylinder head and seal. You can kind of see if I zoom, sorry, the light. There, there we go. It's literally just like a stainless ring that seals. Supposedly pretty good. It's like the, between an MLS and actually O-ring in the block. And I've only blown a head gasket once, but we are planning to turn the power up on this build. So, we got that for the next motor. The That'll be the head gasket for it. I have a cylinder head. It's not here. We've got it's just a VVT head. And I've actually purchased two different sets of aftermarket cams. One's a set of regrinds and one's from cat cams. And neither one has showed up yet. The cat cams are three and a half months without a tracking number. So that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, whichever one shows up first is probably going to be the one going in the motor. Um, so yeah, I guess I can do some updates as we're as this motor build gets going. Like I said, we're we're waiting on the rods. I wanted to run the Krillo. I ordered Krillo H beams. That's the same rods I use in my current engine, and I've had great luck with them. To high RPMs, high boost, they're lighter. That's a big thing, I believe, because I've had bearing wear problems. So I think taking some weight off of that would take the load off the bearings and help out the life of that. So I thought it was worth it. We got those ordered. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be here for like six, seven, or eight weeks or something. Lead time's crazy. 
but that'll be when the parts get here we'll do a motor build so I'll make some videos about that and I don't know if I get any more motor parts I'll let y'all know